Welcome in this video we are talking about display filters. The main ones are looking at headers and tellers, looking at the NL command, and we're going to be looking at colors. So when we're looking at our terminal and we see different colors, what does that mean? Typically if uh, content is blue it would be a directory, if it is green it's an executable, if it's uh, a sky blue it's a symbolic link, if it's yellow it's a device, if it's pink it's a graphical image, if it's red, it's an archive. If it's red with a black background, it's a broken link. So let's look at an example. So I'm in Kali and I have a graphical file, I have a zip file, and I have a directory. Go to my terminal, get to my desktop, ls. Well, blue directory, and I have a graphical file which I was expecting to be a pink file, but it's not. I have a zip file, an archive, which I was expecting to be red, but it's not. So with Kali 2021, the color scheme is slightly different. So being able to understand the different types of colors actually is gonna be an important part. So I'm gonna CD all the way up to my root, CD. All right, so I want to look at things like my dev. LS. Again, directory, directory. These orange things should be files and content. Let's see. So we'll go to console. So it's not a specifically a uh, directory. And we cat console. pseudo cat console. Our orange should actually be our files that we uh, may or may not have uh, permissions for. Oh, I did not like that at all. So I'm going to go ahead and control B. I did not like that, that's fine. I'm just gonna look through the file browser, file system, I was in dev, and I was trying to look at the console file. But at least with this view, you can start seeing what is directories, what are files. We can also do our different ls commands. I'm gonna kill that terminal. I wanna go ahead and go back there, cd, cd. Dev ls. I want to do an ls tac l. That way I can see are they directories? Are they files? What exactly are they? So that gives us a brief overview of kind of what is there. So that's a lot of content that I don't want to look at. So I want to go ahead and talk about how to look at content. So I'm going to be looking at three types of uh, areas. I'm going to be looking at NL, head, and tell. Essentially, I want to be able to look at content, but a little bit more focused. So I'm going to jump back into Kali. I want to get to my root directory, ls. I want to get to my var. Unless there are logs here. So I'm going to go ahead and change directory to logs. LS. And here's a bunch of log files. Well, I want to go ahead and I want to cat auth log. I want to go ahead and sudo cat auth log. So, a bunch of content. The problem is, I only want to, well, first of all, I want to look at this, but I want to number the lines. NL will actually number all of the lines, so I can start referring to them specifically by line number 67 or line number 99. So that's one of the nice things with NL. 
Also, we can do head. And head will give us just the first 10. If I do tell, it will give me just the last 10. If it is a log that's currently being written to, it will actually refresh and it'll keep giving me just the last 10 uh, recorded options. If I'm looking at multiple logs and I'm in a terminal, I can do a control shift T and I can open up multiple tabs in the same location. WD. Oh, I take that back. My new tab put me back in my home directory, but I can always navigate back to where I was looking at it. So I can look at logs side by side and compare them. So this is normally what I do with troubleshooting when I'm talking about filters. If I'm building, for example, a um, Docker, I can have one log looking at my Docker build. I can do one log looking at my build record. I can do another log looking at resources. That way I can switch between the different logs and I can only see the last 10 or 15, or however many that I want, uh, lines of code so I can make sure what's going on. So again, this is just display filters in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please reach out.